this edition of Eye on the Arts is Carol Drazga, Crown Point City Council person yes. and friend of the arts. Yes. Yes. Carol, welcome to Eye on the Arts. It's been a long time since we've it had has, you here. It has, John, but glad to be back. Good. Well, I, we were thinking that perhaps the last time you were, you were here was to talk about the Crown Point Bulldogs. That's exactly, and that was 10 years ago when we had 55 bulldogs invade our downtown area. <laughs> and this year you've brought something new in the arts to yes, the square. Yes, uh, we have 10 bronze colorized sculptures of the common man doing common things. And uh, Seward Johnson, Seward Johnson mm -hmm. um, is the artist. He's 83 now, and mm -hmm. he shows nationally and internationally, and he's been around for quite a while. Mm, 83 years, I hear. 83 years, <laughs> at least. <laughs> so, so Seward Johnson has, he does, he specializes in these very lifelike figures. And you have them in, and, and I know outside the Four Seasons Hotel in Chicago, there's that man with an umbrella hailing a cab. And, um, and, and that's been there for a long time now. That one's not colorized, though. I like these colorized mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, uh, the colorized is great. It gives it more of a human quality. Mm -hmm. And many of our sculptures have tricked people. And I think that's the beauty of his sculptures is they make us laugh at ourselves doing common things, mm -hmm. everyday things, but it catches off guard because you think that they're real. Mm -hmm. And so we've had a lot of really good feedback uh, on that. So you've got sponsors to help pay for this. We have 12 sponsors, a sponsor for each one. And of course, the city of Crown Point is uh, underwriting some of the um, project, but mm -hmm. most of the project is all paid for by our sponsors. So it's been a great um, sponsorship to have the city involved with private, and that's always a good combination. And when you can introduce art and maintain interactive art in your town, I think that's just the best. I do too. And, and you have had a lot of people coming into town to see. The, yes. uh, the sculptures. Right. Uh, one of the main goals was to increase our downtown foot traffic, mm -hmm. which it has exceeded. Mm -hmm. But we've had even more excitement when we have residents and their family and just other people from out of town that have heard about the exhibit are coming and walking downtown. And we have a photo contest that you can submit your photo online. Mm -hmm. And we have a scavenger hunt that you can pick up uh, also online mm -hmm. um, and fill out the form, match the clues to the sculpture, and mm -hmm. turn in your form. Um, to the library, and we'll be having prizes for those. So that's made it really interactive with the people. So as the photo it. contest is for people, they're taking selfies with the sculptures. Yes, <laughs> selfies with the sculptures. We've had some real clever ideas. The umbrella guy, uh, gentleman, uh, we've had people with umbrellas come pouring Morton salt. I've seen that photograph. So just kind of clever ideas with the sculptures. Yeah, well, I, I like the window washer man. Mm -hmm. I like the lady standing on the corner with her yes. many packages. Yes. And oh, the, the, the whole thing is just so engaging. Yeah, I, I, I've been involved with the Valparaiso Art Committee's uh, sculpture thing okay. that they've done for a couple of years now. But I like these lifelike ones because they, they're, so, they're something that people can relate to so easily. Yes, and I think the children, the children are loving it. And yeah. I just like to go downtown once or twice a week, grab a bench, and then I just sit and watch the interactive mm -hmm. with the people, and I get as much joy out of that as the sculptures. Well, good. It's good that you brought this to Crown Point. Thank you. And I hope you do it every year now. I'm hoping now for everybody's next summer expecting to do something. It. Yes. Okay. Next summer we'll be doing something. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks, Carol, for being here, and thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.